Hello and welcome to Kimber Bushcraft. And today I'm in my camp again and I'm going to make a, I think it's gonna be a delicious lunch meal. And as you saw, I changed my approach uh, about the ants. Uh, the borax, uh, some of my subscribers told me, is actually poison for the, the little ants. So I'm uh, trying not to use that and instead I uh, got some vinegar uh, that I have sprayed all around my tent. Uh, this should be uh, so that the ants won't come into my campsite. And beside that I uh, took a little cinnamon and uh, uh, put a layer inside my tent. Uh, I heard that uh, ants don't like uh, the smell of cinnamon. So uh, I hope these two things will uh, prevent the ants from uh, getting into my camp. Actually today when I was up there, uh, when I came up there, I actually didn't see uh, much ants, but I think it's because the weather has turned uh, into colder weather. Uh, it's about five degrees Celsius, so I think that the ants are hiding again uh, down in the ground. Well, we'll see. Now I sprayed vinegar uh, all over the place and uh, cinnamon inside my tent. So I hope that will uh, prevent them from coming into my camp. Beside that, I um, tried to make uh, birch sap once more, but as you saw, I made a hole. I picked a larger tree and uh, did it uh, lower to the ground. That was something uh, uh, some of my subscribers have uh, advised me to do, but uh, there was no sap. So I think perhaps it's because I'm too late because the sap is uh, coming off of the ground uh, so that the leaves can uh, fall out and uh, that's why we can uh, harvest sap here in the spring but if it's too late uh, which I think I am uh, the sap is already out in the branches so um, it's not the way I'm going to do it I could uh, try to make a little um, branch cut it off and see if any sap is coming out there so I'm going to do that, but um, when I'm finished with that, I'm going to prepare my meal and um, uh, I hope you like. So hang on. Well, there's no sap coming out of the, uh, the branch, so I don't think this will give any sap, uh, burst sap either. But I'll let it hang here a couple of hours and see what happens. Well, isn't that typical? Um, out on my uh, Kimber camp, uh, I'm protected uh, at three sides. But when the wind is coming from east, it's going right down in my camp and uh, my fire. Uh, I light it up, as you saw, but there's too much wind. And I'm afraid that the wind will uh, blow the fire into the forest and perhaps uh, start a fire. So. I'm uh, moved into my lavo and uh, going to prepare my meal over my solo stove. So it's not going to be outside in uh, in my fire pit, but in here, uh, in here. So now I'm going to lay my food out and prepare it so I can uh, cook it on my solo stove. So hang on. And this is camembert. Baker.
Skål and Happy Easter. Well folks, this is all for now. Thank you for watching Kimmer Bushcrafts. I appreciate that very much. I hope you like my little video from my camp and uh, my little delicious meal. Uh, I saw uh, another YouTuber make that meal, uh, Camembert with bacon around, uh, and a Japanese YouTuber, Lok Shing, I think it's called. I put a link below so you can find his channel. He's uh, making some very nice videos and uh, I haven't heard him talk yet, so there's some uh, Japanese uh, signs that I can't read, but uh, most of the things he shows uh, is completely uh, as other, so you can uh, understand most of it. So go in and check his channel. And um, you saw I had uh, tried to uh, uh, harvest some bird sap from, uh, from the branch, and that didn't work. I think it's too late. In the season, uh, perhaps three weeks ago, I would have uh, succeeded in that. So I have to wait to uh, another year. Now, well, it's been a wonderful day, but cold, uh, about five to six degrees, and uh, the wind is uh, even colder. And down in my camp, um, there is a lot of wind, and uh, it is very cold. So I'm glad I have my lava, so I can sit in uh, there and protect it and uh, do my things, my meals and uh, so on. Well, I hope you're having a nice Sunday and I hope to see you again on the next one. Bye bye and take care.